indirect measurement and scale drawing were at 7.5a with nine previous videos for chapter 7 that could possibly help you in the geometry playlist. Indirect measurement is any method that uses formulas or similar figures and or proportions to measure an object. Whenever dimensions are given as different units of measure, like feet and inches, we must first convert them to either feet or inches before doing our calculations. So this is for dimensions, okay? So if we have this width as one foot two inches and this height as seven inches, we would turn this into 14 inches so that they would be the same units, okay? That's for a dimension of something. Natala wanted to find the height of a statue of a pineapple in Nambour, Australia. And she measured the pineapple's shadow and her own shadow. So the pineapple's shadow was 8 feet 9 inches and her shadow was 2 feet. Natala's height is 5 feet 4 inches, that's AC. So what's the height of the pineapple if its shadow is 8 feet 9 inches? So we need to find DF. We convert the measurements to all inches. Her height is 5 feet 4 inches, that's 5 times 12 inches and a foot, plus the 4 extra, that's 64 inches. And her shadow, BC, is 24 inches. And EF, this shadow, is 8 feet 9 inches, which is 8 times 12 plus the extra 9, is equal to 105 inches. Now we find similar triangles. Now because the sun's rays are parallel coming down, Angle 1 here is congruent to angle 2 here, okay? This angle is congruent to this angle, and we have a right angle here, and we have a right angle here, don't we? Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by AA similarity, angle-angle similarity. Now we need to find DF. We write our proportion, AC, her height, over df, the height of the pineapple, is equal to bc, her shadow, over ef, the shadow of the pineapple. That's corresponding sides are proportional. We substitute in the values, her height over whatever the height of the pineapple is, over her shadow, over the pineapple's shadow. We can do cross products. We have 24 times df is equal to 64 times 105. 64 times 105 is 6,720. We divide both sides by the 24, and we find out the height of the pineapple, DF, is 280 inches. We can divide that by the 12 for 12 inches and a foot and find that it's 23 feet 4 inches for the height of the pineapple statue. Okay? A scale drawing represents an object as smaller or larger. So it could be smaller or larger than its actual size. And the drawing scale is the ratio of any length in the drawing to the corresponding actual length. On a map with a scale of 1 centimeter to 1,500 meters, 1 centimeter on the map represents 1,500 meters in actual distance. And we can solve for dimensions. The scale of the map of downtown Dallas is 1.5 centimeters to 300 meters. Okay? and find the actual distance between Union Station here and the Dallas Public Library up here if the distance measures 6 centimeters on the map. We write a proportion comparing the map distance to the actual distance, which we'll call x. Okay, so that's the actual distance. So we know it's 6 centimeters on the map. We don't know what the actual distance x is. We know 1.5 centimeters on the map is equal to 300 meters in real life. So. A proportion may compare measurements that have different units because it's not a dimension, okay? We're just talking about a distance comparison. We have cross products, so we can do 1.5x is equal to 6 times 300. 6 times 300 is 1,800. We divide both sides by the 1.5 coefficient, and we get that x is equal to 1,200. So the actual distance between Union Station and the Dallas Public Library is 1,200 meters, okay? We can also say that's 1.2 kilometers, okay? Making a scale drawing, the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. is approximately 57 meters long and 36 meters wide, so that's in real life, okay? 
we can make a scale drawing of the base, that would be the foundation, okay, of the building using a scale of one centimeter to 15 meters. We set up proportions to find the length L and width W of the scale drawing. So the length of the scale drawing L over the 57 meters that it actually is for its length, okay, is going to be over one for our scale drawing to 15 meters for our actual one. We do cross products. We have 15L is equal to 57 times 1, which is a 57. We can divide both sides by this 15 coefficient and get that the length is 3.8 centimeters for our scale drawing. We do the same thing with the width. We can do cross products and have 15W is equal to 36 times 1, which is a 36. We divide both sides by the 15 and find out that the width for our scale drawing would be 2.4 centimeters. So that would be our little scale drawing of the base of the Lincoln Memorial if you were looking straight down from the sky on it. Okay, that's what it's sitting on, all right? Miniature objects have been made to scale based on proportional relationships. And the careers in banking and finance, science and medicine, architecture and art, construction and city planning, electronics and manufacturing, they all use ratios and proportional relationships and a lot of other jobs too. Okay, so you can't get away from ratios and proportions. You gotta know them, all right? Our next video is similarity, perimeter, and area ratio, and the proportional perimeters and area ratios theorem, okay? Before we move on to 7.6. So I hope you understand about the proportional relationships now, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.